Hey everybody, as you can see, uh, we're coming to you today from uh, down in Mooresville, down at LFR Chassis. Uh, Rob and the guys down here uh, held a, an open house luncheon um, for LFR Chassis customers and, uh, and somewhat to celebrate the, the victory um, of the new chassis. And uh, just so happens that it's a, a double celebration with the two in a row. But uh, we'll go back and we'll talk about, uh, talk about Langley Speedway, uh, the race we had up there. Uh, first of all, I apologize for no video last week with racing uh, two days into the week last week. Uh, we just didn't have time. But uh, anyway, going back to Langley, uh, it was uh, the first, well, I, wanna, I guess it wasn't, Bristol, I guess technically was the first. It was a north-south combined race. Uh, but our, our typical uh, short track uh, southern modified race, uh, Langley was the first one for us for the, the LFR chassis with the spec motor. So, uh, I told, it's funny, I told Kim, I felt really good about the setup that I had under the car for Langley. Uh, sometimes you just get a good feeling about about the package that you're taking to a certain track. We've been good at Langley in the past, so, um, you know, I was kind of, I was really looking forward to Langley. So, when we got there, uh, we went out and practiced. I don't know that we changed very much at all. Uh, we didn't run a lot of laps at one time, uh, but our tire temps looked good. Everything just seemed to be pointing in the right direction that we were going to have a really good race car. Uh, we put on three new tires in the practice and ended up being second fastest in practice. Um, this new car seems to, uh, it has a different feel to it. Uh, it takes different adjustments to qualify than our, than our stuff that we were running. Um, what I mean by that is, is that Langley, we put a lot of stagger in the car to qualify because that's typically what we had been doing with our other stuff and it was way too much stagger and I qualified seven. Um, I, I wasn't super concerned because I knew that we had a really good race car uh, for race trim. Uh, basically the race got started. Uh, I worked my way up to about third or fourth there. Next thing you know, uh, the 28 was leading, the 11 was second and uh, I was third. And me and the 11 caught the 28, and I was able to pass both of them and take the lead. And I think I led about 10 or 12 laps until we had a caution. Uh, I don't know how much we've talked about this because it's a rule that they changed for middle of the season on the, the NASCAR uh, Southern Tour. Basically, they give you a new, a, a two, uh, excuse me, they give you, um, they don't give you anything. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. They allow you to put on a new tire uh, during a pit stop, so there's no more halfway break. Uh, basically, it's just a, an open pit stop. If you want to come in and put a new tire on, you can. So uh, there was a caution around lap 90, maybe a, close to 100, and uh, we came in, came in first, came out first, and put a new right rear tire on. Um, I had a slip on the restart and lost a couple positions and uh, was able to work my way back up to second place. And I caught the 28 car, uh, I guess with about, well, I, let me, sorry if I feel like it sounds like I'm rambling this a little bit. We've run three races since then or two races since then, so I'm having to uh, re reroute my memory here. But um, I was catching the 28 car and we had a caution with about 10 to go, 12 to go, something like that. And um, I was faster than the 28, but getting by somebody and being faster than them, everybody knows in racing, that's two different scenarios. So um, I was trying to make a move. I'd go in, I'd go out. We were both just going as hard as we could. We were both sliding around and spinning and turning sideways and uh, just trying as hard as we could, both of us, to win the race. As we took the white flag, uh, I got a run on uh, the 28 coming down the back stretch, and, and then I got a super run center off. And where this car seems to be really forming for me right now and maybe it's just because it suits my driving style but center off the car is just phenomenal so I could turn down and get the gas so when I did I drove up to the 28 and uh, I guess he lost a little bit of traction and I gave him a little bump and um, he's, he's wiggled sideways and I went on to win the race and uh, um, it was a little bit controversial uh, NASCAR deemed to start with that uh, I was disqualified for rough driving Luckily, the track had video um, of the last couple laps, and they came back and said, you know, after reviewing the video, we realized it was just hard racing. So uh, I think that all the parties involved uh, realized that it was just hard racing. Uh, that's the way we saw it, and 
that's the way most people saw it. But anyway, we were able to win at Langley, first win in the uh, LFR chassis. Um, these guys down here just did a great job building this car for me and getting this car ready. Um, we've made some adjustments and tweaked as far as the setup is concerned, but basically they built the car here, so uh, you know I can't thank these guys enough. Um, that was on Saturday, uh, a week ago Saturday. So uh, leading up to that was a speedway on Monday for the Coma Unwind Modified Madness Series. Basically, we went down there, qualified second, and had the best car. But uh, anybody that's familiar with racing at all knows that it's called racing, not winning. And uh, you know, a lot of times the best car doesn't win the race. All I can do is, is ask for a car that's competitive enough to put me in the position to where we're competitive and, and, and got a shot at winning the race. And basically that's what we had. Uh, I led the most laps at Ace. After the pit stop, I got back to the lead. Um, I had the race basically sewn up. And there was a caution with 10 to go that allowed for a restart. And I was, uh, I was actually got passed uh, on the restart. At the end of the day, it didn't really matter because we ran out of gas anyway. So uh, it, it was, 125 lap race. Coma kind of does things a little bit different. It's a 125 lap race, but they don't count caution lanes. At the end of the day, we ended up running, I don't know what, almost 190 laps. You can count for how many caution laps we ran. So um, there was about five or six people that ran out of gas. So that was kind of unfortunate that it turned out that way. But, um, you know, everything happens for a reason. And, and even though we were disappointed with the finish, we were. We were still excited about how good the car was. Uh, usually when I go to Ace, I take my stadium car. And I, it's basically set up pretty close to the way I run Bowman Gray. But uh, I was a little bit, I had, I, you know, I was a little bit reserved about taking a different car to Ace. And then as soon as I got there, I realized that I made the right decision because the car was, it was great, just like it has been every other time we've been out. But uh, ended up ninth, lost a couple points, but uh, like I said, the car was performing the way it needed to perform, so uh, we couldn't be too disappointed. Leading up to that, uh, we had Caraway uh, last Friday night, and uh, you know, the way the car had been running, I was halfway excited about going to Caraway. We made some spring changes and a couple adjustments in practice, and uh, it's funny because one of the guys asked me, he said, well, how do you think the car is? And I said, it's been so long since I had a car at Caraway that was good that I wasn't really sure. The car was driving good, the tire temperatures looked good, the tire wear looked good, but you know, I didn't really know what to expect until I actually raced the car. Um, what I was telling you about Langley, we put too much stagger in. Well, at Caraway, we didn't put enough in. So uh, we're, we're finding that fine line there uh, at, at Caraway. We just didn't have the car free enough to qualify, and I qualified fifth. Uh, after the race got going, we got up to third. I was uh, basically right on the back bumper of the 11 car for about 50 laps, and uh, the 28 car was leading the race. Um, we got going, and uh, we had a caution, I guess, around lap 100. We came in, we did our pit stop, we had a lug nut hang, so we lost a couple of positions. I was able to get back to, I think, fourth. It was the 28, the 11, the 43, and then me. And uh, I was all over the 43 car for about 30 laps until I was finally able to get by him. Right after I got by him, I noticed the 28 car had slowed down the back stretch and brought out the caution. Well, the 11 car was leading, and I was second at the time, but I had no idea you know, how good he was because I was behind the 43, so I couldn't see that far ahead of me. So uh, we had a double file restart with a green-white checkered, and uh, I was able to clear the 11 and go on to win the race. And uh, I tell you, I, I've won a, you know, I've been blessed. I've, I've been fortunate enough to win a lot of races in my career. But to win this race at Caraway in the fashion we did it with this new car, with the circumstances where they were, it, it's one of the biggest wins of my career, uh, personally, because everything we've been through. You know, the way we struggled at Caraway the last, yeah, I guess about 10 years now. <laughs> um, one of the goals that we had, uh, that, that, that when I say we, I mean like with Roy Trantham before he passed away, one of the goals we had was to conquer Caraway. So um, the fact that we, we had a car that was competitive, we had a car that had good tire wear at the brake or at the tire change, 
the car had good tire wear at the end of the race. The fact that we were able to win down there was just, you know, it means a world, means the world to me and, and everybody involved with us. Um, so basically, long story short, that's two in a row uh, for us on the Southern Modified Tour with the LFR chassis. Uh, I'll tell you a quick story. When I got down there, uh, Philip Dixon that helps me, he said he had a riddle for me. And uh, the answer to the riddle was 3545. And he said, you figure it out. And I said, okay. So a little bit of time goes on. I've got a little dry erase board on my toolbox that we can make notes and stuff. And he wrote 3545 on that, uh, on the board. I said, what is that? He said, you figure it out. A little time goes by and I said, all right, what is that? I don't know what it is. And he wrote days. And I said, days? And he said, that's how many days? 3,545 3, days. Is how many days had passed since I'd won Caraway last. So it was just kind of ironic, kind of makes a cool story that we were able to uh, to win on the night that he did that. Um, like I said, it was just the way things turned out and, and, and the momentum we have right now coming into the end of the year. I'm tied for third in the points. Uh, we, you know, we've got a shot. It's a long shot, but we still got a shot at winning this championship. But uh, anybody that knows me knows that I'm going after victories right now. I want to go uh, three in a row. Uh, we're going to South Boston this weekend. I feel like the car, from what I can tell about this car, it's really going to do good at South Boston. And then Kenley's the next weekend, and I feel like it ought to do good at Kenley. Just because I, I know, I'm, be I'm beginning to know what the car likes, and the car seems to really suit my driving style. So um, I'm looking forward to, to South Boston this weekend. Um, I want to take this time to uh, thank my sponsors. I know that, that it might sound repetitious, but believe me, from the bottom of my heart, you know, I want to thank these sponsors and, and help, uh, you know, help get them the exposure they deserve. Because the way it works is, is I try to get them the exposure they deserve. They help me get in victory lane, and we both win. So, uh, you know, first of all, I want to thank Citrus Safe Barbecue Grill Cleaner, Speedway Auto Auction of Charlotte, Adams Towing, uh, Doug and Wendy and that whole game and um, you know my crew my crew has been putting in a lot of time lately with these these back-to-back -back races we raced on Friday and then Monday and we traveled to Langley this weekend so I'm Boston so even though uh, you know we may not be traveling very far in some of these races but man it's still it's a it, it takes up your whole weekend uh, to do it but and these guys do it because just the same reason I do it because they love it but uh Thanks, Stephen, for doing these videos. He does these, these videos for me every week, and uh, he puts a lot of time into it. So thank you, buddy. Um, man, what can I say? You know, we're, like I said, it feels really good to be able to, to win at least one tour race, and now we've won two in a row. And, man, how great would it be to be able to win three in a row? But uh, God's been very good to me. He's, he's blessed me, and, uh, you know, I want to return the favor by giving him the praise and the glory because without him it wouldn't be possible. So uh, thanks to the fans that came out. Saw a lot of cool people, uh, different people. Um, Saturday or Friday, I guess it was. Get away from the autograph session. But a uh, little bit different scenery today. Like I said, we're down at LFR. Uh, thanks to these guys again. Man, I just, I don't want to sound like I'm rambling, but uh, it's just, I'm just really excited about what we got going on right now. Uh, it's just things are going good. We hopefully we can, can keep them going. But uh, thanks for watching. Share it, click it, link it, paste it, <laughs> and all the cool stuff that you do. But anyway, come see us at South Boston this weekend. Thank you for watching, and God bless you.